the Discovery Awards, our second inductee into the Hall of Fame. Axel is one of the deepest, most thoughtful scholars that I've met. He is a spectacularly clear thinker about chemical problems. It would be hard to point to anybody in the province, or frankly in the nation, that's had a bigger impact at this time on how we can do chemistry on a computer. Axel Becker's research is in an area called theoretical chemistry. He's developed a set of methods that are used in an area called density functional theory. And these methods allow you to perform uh, computer simulations of virtually any process that's relevant in chemistry. Density functional theory is concerned with the motions of electrons in all matter. And it is a branch of quantum theory that allows us to do computations of uh, systems containing enormous numbers of atoms. So quite literally, um, density functional theory is applicable to anything and everything because all matter in our terrestrial world depends on the motion of electrons. The model that we use was invented in the early 60s but invented in a way where it wasn't practical. Axel thought through the problems and found the practical way to implement the model and that's why everybody uses it now. We can't do every possible experiment in chemistry. There are a lot of things that you can do much more quickly computationally. So computational chemistry and computational aspects really advance science in a very rapid way. And I think that's inspiring to people to realize that work done here, mostly as a singular person, can really have ramifications all around the world.